Hello, Soraya Bastian here, and we have Kara with us today, who is a recent client in our Beyond Breath program. Um, what we do in Beyond Breath is we help women who have experienced infidelity in their marriage overcome their husband's infidelity and truly uh, step back into their into their light, into their life, whole and confident and empowered without the nagging uh, worries of where he is. What's going on? Is he hiding something from me? Is my marriage going to make it? And so, Kara, thank you for joining us today to share with our audience your experience in Beyond Breath. Yeah, yeah, anytime. Thanks for having me. I'm really glad that you're here. So will you begin by telling us what was the main problem that you were experiencing before Beyond Breath? You know, I think before Beyond Breath, even before finding out of my husband's infidelity is you you start to go through physical signs, right? And you start, your body's telling you something's going on and it's trying to tell you to, hey, listen, in your mind, you're living up in this headspace um, where you're just not, you're almost in this denial space, but you're just not listening to anything. And, you know, you start to have panic attacks, anxiety attacks, you, you know, you're, you're, completely dissociated, you know, not even connect your body and your mind aren't even connected. Mm -hmm. And so that kind of even pushed me to the point of like, Hey, what's going on here. And you start to rummage through emails or phone or digging through clothes or whatever it is where you can think to find something. And, you know, sure enough, you do find something where I did. And, and, you know, then that starts the real, the D day, right. Mm -hmm. Where, what do you do with that information and how do you process that? And so, um, that's kind of what happened before beyond breath for me, um, and kind of living in this headspace of triggers, panic attacks, just the physical part of it. I never really understood. Um, and I didn't honestly didn't know how to, how to get over it. Mm -hmm. So from, you know, the beginning when your body started talking to you to date to D day until you found beyond breath, how long of a time uh, frame are we looking at there? Had you been dealing with that? Um, you know, I would say it was probably like two months ish. Mm -hmm. I will tell you, I'm pretty more quick on the like, okay, I can't do this. This isn't going to happen for me. Like, I'm not going to live my life like this. Like, what can I do? And I remember just like searching everywhere being like, what, what, it, what, what do you do with this? You know, you're kind of lost and you're alone and anyone that you talk to, everyone has an opinion about everything. And those aren't the opinions you should be listening to. If if I if I could go back, I people who haven't gone through this really don't understand what the trauma of it is. When you're you're explaining a panic attack or, or you know, it's not just get over it. You know, you, there's mm -hmm. there's more to that there. And um, reading books and you know all the self help stuff, the podcast, the amount of audio books I have on my Spotify is disgusting, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> And then finding you on Instagram. And it's funny because I actually had like three of my friends who are like influencers on Instagram kind of like research you out and be like, hey, is this the real deal or is this like a scam? Because you're kind of like, I don't want to get scammed with mm -hmm. paying a, a lot of money for something. But at the same time, I'm willing to pay money for something that's going to help me if, if it truly is what it is. Mm -hmm. and, and sure enough, it was. I remember my first call. I forget who, who it was with me, like an entry call. And it was so funny. I just remember being like, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be this anymore. I don't want triggers. I don't want to, I want to be a piece. I'm, I'm over it. And she was like, you're in the right spot. Mm -hmm. Yep. Totally. So tell us a little bit about that. Like what has been your highlight since joining beyond breath? So it's been almost 90 days. What, what's been the highlight for you? Um, you know, I think the big thing about beyond breath is it's about you, right? It's all about you and, and, you becoming sacred to yourself and, and secure and healing and at peace and happy and finding that happiness. And it's, it's not about him. It's not, a, it, it happened to you and, and you have to deal with it and that sucks, but you also get to rediscover yourself in this and, and, and figure out what, what you want and who you can be. Mm -hmm. What type of marriage you want, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Totally. So the highlight has been that the work was for you and your healing. What in Beyond Breath have you learned so far that has transformed things for you? Oh man, so many things. I would say, you know, just start with like 
the grounding, the the modules, the weekly calls with other women. And granted, I, I worked so much, I wasn't able to be on those, but I was able to watch the recordings and just to hear other women speak about their their experience that helps with my experience, right? Because we're all kind of going through a similar thing, whether it's two months from when it happened or or five years, 10 years, like there's this roller coaster ride that you go on that everybody's on the same route basically until you put an end to it and you start to deal with the physical side of things. And I think that was the one thing with Beyond Breath is it addresses the physical side of everything, the trauma, as well as the mental Mm -hmm. and realizing like I can find courage within myself to overcome any of the fear or overcome any of the denial that's happening. And I'm more of aware of what's happening in my marriage or even in my life right now when I talk to other people. So Mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah. The mind and the body are intertwined, right? Mm -hmm. Like the mind's telling the brain what to to tell the body and the body just (laughs) listens. So yeah, I love that. Tell us then what have been your results? Like what have been your biggest wins since joining Beyond Breath? Wow. I would say like, it's crazy. Cause even when I just like sit in my car, I listen to music or I'm alone. I love it. I love that time to myself. I love being with myself. I, I'm happy. I'm at peace. And yeah, I'm still in, in dealing with things in my marriage. And, but you know, those are things he can hold on to. And I don't need to hold on to those things. And, um, man, I just, it, it's just a, a peace. I'm at more of a, at a, at a peace. And no matter what happens, I know everything is going to be okay. Cause I have myself. Oh my gosh. That's everything. Yeah. I love that so, so much. And that's kind of like my underlying motto is like, I just want peace regardless of what happens. I want to know that I'm going to be okay and that I have myself. Yeah. That's everything. Yeah. I'm so glad that that's what you have experienced as well, because that is my intention in walking women through this course is that exact thing. What would you tell to women who are on the fence about joining us? Ah, do it. (laughs) Absolutely do it. Um, I, I have nothing but amazing things to say about Beyond Breath and, and what it's done for me and just the community of women, the community. I mean, it is crazy to post something on our forum and all of a sudden you have people who love it and they like it and they support you. And there's just a level of compa- compassion and empathy there that you're not going to get from anybody else. And I've never even met any of these women and I feel closer to them. So mm-hmm. I, I would do it. This was beyond, I would, you know, I would do it all over again. I wouldn't change a thing. Mm, I love that. Yeah, thank you. And it is amazing. Like we said at the beginning, the people who haven't been through this, they don't understand it. It is so complex. And to be in a community where you're supported, regardless of what you're doing, whether you're staying in your marriage or walking away, because what we bond over in our community is our healing. That's it. That's what we're Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And just the main focus on you and it, it, it's not about him and it's about you. And, and that the more aware you become, the you'll make decisions. And then that's when those decisions happen and whatever they are, you're, you're going to be fine. Yep. Totally. Oh, I love it. I'm so happy that you're able to share your experience with us today. Thank you for starting like your starting story of trauma and then where you are right now. This story is amazing. And I love the transformation that takes place just in 90 days from I can't live like this anymore to my life is completely different. And that's all you, that's all the work that you put in. So congratulations to you. Thank you. Thank you. No, thank you. (laughs) That's awesome to see. And for those of you listening again, like we have women after women, after women, like coming and sharing their experience with us and you can hear in their voice, even I know they choose to say confidential, which we honor, but like you can hear in their voice, the peace that they truly do have. And that's what this is all about. And so if you're tired of waiting for him, if you're tired of pointing your finger at him, if you're tired of giving him a list of things that he needs to do in order for you to feel better and safe, safer and, and at peace that will never come. This work is done all within yourself so that if your marriage is going to work, you can bring your peaceful self into it. And if it's not going to work, you can take your peaceful self into a new relationship. And that will be the baseline for the relationship that you create, because that is what you are bringing to the table. 
So check out my masterclass, go to sariabastion.com, find me on Instagram, soraya.bastion. I am legit, I'm not a scam, <laughs> and we do good work here. So thank you, Kara, for sharing yeah. your story with us today. And thank you all those of you who are listening. I love you. Bye-bye. Let's see.